SEO is one term which has been gaining a lot of traction with online businesses in recent years. SEO or search engine optimization has become one of the most integral aspects of online marketing, and rightly so, as SEO can greatly increase the number of views your website or video gets on a daily basis. While there are many different aspects that cover SEO, when it comes to YouTube videos, the highest priority goes to keyword planning. Effective use of high-ranked keywords can help your video get hundreds of views and grow your YouTube subscriber list as well. There are many ways you can go about finding keywords, but if you're looking for a quick, easy, effective, and free method, then Google AdWords Keyword Planner should do you just right. To get started, sign into your AdWords account and click on the Tools drop-down menu over here. Then select Keyword Planner. The Keyword Planner is a free AdWords tool that can help you generate new keyword ideas for your website, ad campaign, or video. It's a handy tool which also gives you access to statistical data which can show you how many clicks and impressions specific keywords have generated in the past. With this information, you can craft your video's metadata using keywords which are popular among internet users. The Keyword Planner also allows you to get forecasts so you have a better idea of the predicted clicks or impressions your campaign will receive based on your chosen keywords. Now, what you want to do is click on this section here to expand the search section. This section is for you to fill up so that AdWords can search for keywords that match your product or service. First, enter a word or phrase which describes the product or service you want to advertise. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to type in meditation. Down here, you also have an option to input a landing page URL. This can be your company website, Facebook page, or even a squeeze page. For this section, you can pick a category relevant to your product or service, or you can leave it empty so that you can get a wider variety of keywords. The other thing we want to focus on on this page is this section here. If you look at this targeting section, you'll see that you can specify your target location. This is especially handy for businesses which cater to specific states, countries, or regions. You can even choose to leave it as its default all locations if your business is international or based online. You can also choose the spoken language or languages of your target audience here. At the bottom of this section, you can input negative keywords. Only use this if there are specific keywords which you would like to exclude from your search. One last thing which you might want to tweak in this, data range. Its default is to pull up statistics from over the past year, but you can tweak this to show results from just the past month, six months, or even the past five years. Once you've input all this information, go ahead and click the Get Ideas button. You will then be brought to this page. What you want to do now is click on the Keyword Ideas tab. Next, scroll down to this section here. AdWords has pulled up some keywords it thinks are relevant to your product. This column tells you the average amount of monthly searches each of these keywords has received. Competition, on the other hand, explains how many advertisers have used each keyword. High competition means the keyword has been used by many advertisers whereas low competition means your keyword has not been a popular choice among other advertisers. Based off these two columns, AdWords also suggests bids for each keyword. This is based off the projected estimate of your cost per click, or CPC, though your actual CPC may vary. If you're not choosing to run ads for your videos just yet, then you could just ignore this bit. Either way, you can go through this list and select the keywords you would like to add to your video title, tags, and description. If you do intend to run a video ad campaign on AdWords, you can add the keywords here to your new or pre-existing ad campaign as well. To do this, click on this double arrow button next to the keywords. 
They will then be added to a draft plan on your right. Once you've selected your choice keywords, hit Review Forecasts. On this page, what you want to do again is click on the Keywords tab. Now up here, it's time for you to specify your bid for each keyword, as well as your daily budget. For bid, add the maximum amount you are willing to pay for each click on your ad. For now, I'm going to enter $5. And here, set your daily budget. This is the maximum amount you are willing to spend on advertising per day. Once you've entered these two values, click Get Detailed Forecasts. This section will give you an estimate of the impressions and clicks your ad will receive based off your bid, daily budget, and keywords. If you scroll down here, you can see the estimated max CPC, daily clicks, and impressions for each of your selected keywords in relation to your daily budget and bid. If you'd like to remove certain keywords, just check this box next to the keyword or keywords you would like to remove. Then click the Edit drop-down menu and under Delete Keyword and click Selected. You can even change your bid for individual keywords. Do this by first selecting your keyword, then clicking this Edit button again, and under Change Keyword Bids, click Selected. Click this drop-down menu and select Set Bids To. You can now enter your new bid here and hit this button to confirm it. The changes will be reflected here and the relevant statistics will also change accordingly. Once you're happy with these estimates, hit this blue Save To Account button up here. This pop-up will allow you to save your plan under a new campaign or an existing one. If you're creating a new campaign, you can go ahead and name your new campaign. Double-check your default bid and daily budget. They should be as per the values you entered earlier, and then hit Save and Continue. And you're done. And that's how the Keyword Planner can help you find new keywords for your videos on YouTube. You can come back to this Keywords Planner tool as many times as you need to try as many different variations of keywords. Try to get the best mixture of keywords to effectively target your ad campaign to the right people. Then sit back and watch the views grow.